Hi, this physics video is on resonance and interference, and it relates to University Physics by Young and Friedman, uh, Chapter 16. I've decided to do two sections in this video because they're short sections and there isn't a lot of math. So let's start with Chapter 16, Section 5, Resonance and Sound. So we've already encountered the concept of resonance before, back in Chapter 13, at least of this particular textbook. Uh, resonance happens when the driving frequency, some external force, uh, causing a forced oscillation, uh, corresponds with the natural, as it were, frequency of the system. And chapter 13, uh, which was on mechanical oscillations, uh, there's the idea of pushing someone in a swing. Let's say you're pushing uh, your younger sister uh, or your child in a swing. You know there's a particular groove you can get into. Uh, you, you do this with your legs if you're swinging yourself to where the force that you're pushing into the system really resonates, as it were, uh, with the natural frequency of the swing. And you get, you get a maximum amplitude uh, in that kind of situation. You get the maximum height uh, in the swing. Well, the same thing happens with regard uh, to sound. So uh, with sound oscillations, let's say you have a speaker. You have an uh, amplifier and a speaker. Uh, when the speaker is, uh, you know, just at the right um, uh, frequency, you get a kind of resonance between the environment. You may, you may have, um, uh, for example, in the Harry Potter movies, there's this one scene where one of the paintings tries to shatter glass. Ah, you know, um, when what what causes glass to shatter in that that unusual case is when the driving frequency of the singer, ah, you know, is exactly at the natural frequency of, as it were, the glass. And then you get, you get a resonance that shatters. Kind of like uh, the bridge, uh, uh, Galloping Gertie, was it? That, that um, it, it was just not set up right. And when the wind hit that right uh, amp oscillation frequency for the bridge, it, it collapsed. And so this happens with sound as well. Uh, you get a resonance. Um, uh, I know I used to, I sing bass, and there there was a uh, when I was younger. Sometimes when I would sing, say in a church, you would get a kind of resonance with the pew. Um, that's when the driving uh, frequency is equal to the uh, natural frequency of the of whatever the environment is in. So resonance of sound occurs when the driving frequency say coming from a speaker, is equal to the normal mode frequency of whatever system you're talking about. So that's resonance. It's this uh, amplitude, maximum amplitude. And you have a resonance chart the book talks about, kind of um, as the frequency increases, you get kind of a, a graph of resonances at different frequencies. Okay, so section 16.6 is on the interference of waves. This is where you have two waves uh, coming together in a way and when they, when they combine with each other, um, these two waves are either going to increase in amplitude or they're going to cancel each other out. So if you have two waves that come together in phase with each other, uh, you're going to have constructive interference. This is where the amplitude is going to build. And of course, if they're exactly in phase, you're going to have, uh, you know, the, the amplitude is going to be the amplitude of the one wave plus the amplitude of the other. Yeah. Now, by contrast, when they're out of phase, when they don't combine, you know, so that the, the maximum and the maximum don't combine exactly, they're out of phase and you're going to have destructive interference. Let's say that you have a trough on this wave at the same point that you have a peak on this wave. Well, these two are going to, to work against each other and you're going to have destructive uh, interference. And if they, if they cancel each other out, you'll, you'll have basically a resultant wave that's zero at that point. So we're talking about traveling waves here rather than standing waves. Remember, standing waves are where it's, you know, it's back and forth. There's no actual uh, net flow of energy. But with a traveling wave, I saw one today under a bridge where there's been some rain and the waters were traveling through, you know, this, this part of a bridge and you had, you had uh, a traveling wave. The water was moving forward uh, and energy was moving forward as a whole. It wasn't just a standing uh, wave. So, where there is complete destructive interference, they're going to cancel each other out. You have a trough, say you have exactly the right same amplitude of a trough 
and the same amplitude of a uh, peak and they hit each other at the same time, you're going to have complete destructive inter interference. And there's going to be a pressure and a displacement node at that point. This is different from standing waves, because remember, for standing waves, a pressure node is a displacement antinode. Um, and a displacement uh, node is a pressure antinode, but not, not with, with this sort of thing. Um, if they cancel each other out, then you're going to have both a pressure and a displacement node at that particular uh, point. Um, now, if the distance that's traveled Say you have two waves. Um, uh, if the distance traveled inter differs by a whole number of wavelengths, you're going to have constructive interference because they're going to arrive, the, the parts of the wave are going to arrive in sync with each other in phase, and you're going to have a this plus this kind of amplitude. On the other hand, if the distance differs by a multitude of a half, a multiple of a half, then you're going to have some sort of, of destructive uh, interference because they're going to arrive out of sync with each other. Well, there you have it, the basic concept of resonance and the basic concept of interference. Resonance is where a driving frequency corresponds to the natural frequency of the system and you're going to have a maximum amplitude. Uh, interference is when two different waves combine with each other. Uh, if they combine in phase, uh, by, uh, where the, frequ the wavelength is, uh, differs by a whole number, they're going to build, the amplitude is going to build. Uh, whereas if, if the uh, 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 if they if their wavelength differs by a half wavelength kind of multiple, then they're going to to de destruct each other. There you have it.